this inquiry. That's why I was a little aghast by, by the statement of uh, Senator Alan Kanina when he was delivering his own mm -hmm. uh, privileged speech is that konti pa lang daw. You know, I, I have here some, some transcript of what, exactly what, what, what he said. Bakit po napakarami ng pinapatay ngayon? Actually po, hindi marami, konti pa. Um, what, what, were, what is the threshold? Yeah. How many more killings are we willing we to need? bear? How many more killings do we need to see before we act? What is the threshold? Is it hundreds, thousands, 1,000, 5,000, 10,000, 100,000? I, I, we don't have to wait for that. As, 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 as uh, expressed by Senator Riza earlier, one dead body is just one too many, mm -hmm. particularly the, uh, the cases of mistaken identity, the cases of, of uh, you know, just being there at the wrong place at the wrong, mm -hmm. at the wrong time. There are more and more cases of that. And I was also a bit, a bit aghast also when, when the point about we should instead attend to other urgent matters, not this inquiry being proposed by Senator De Lima. Uh, what could be more urgent than looking into this killings, particularly of the innocent ones? So I, I, I don't see quite. Uh, mm -hmm. that point although I do agree that we need also to focus on measures that will strengthen the criminal justice system that, I do agree mm -hmm. that uh, it's because of the general frustration of the people that there seem to be you know apathy and a sort of a general acceptance mm -hmm. of what is happening that's exactly the same environment, atmosphere, at the time that the D DTS phenomenon mm -hmm. was, was there. Mm -hmm. That's why CHR had to investigate. Mm -hmm. it, it's also possible that um, people might just be waiting for a provocation, you know, a spark, like perhaps your speech. As I mentioned in, in my speech, there may not be a general outrage mm -hmm. yet, but we could also s already see some undercurrents, you know, uh, some, some sentiments already. And that's why I had to highlight the fact that there is, there, there is this group of UP students, mm -hmm. no position, no power, but they, had the, they took the initiative, they're doing that, mm -hmm. you know, demonstrating the, 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 the you know, they, they started this cardboard, this hashtag cardboard justice. Mm -hmm. They're not in any position. Then they don't have power, they don't, you know, they're just ordinary students, and yet they're acting. But what about us? So I, 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 I actually uh, emphasize that. Did you choose the, the date? Did you choose to speak today, August uh, 2? Uh, well, I did intend to deliver a privileged speech as a prelude mm -hmm. to the Senate inquiry. Because my proposed resolution was referred to my own committee mm -hmm. as the primary committee, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Committee on Justice and Human Rights. And as a second committee, the Committee on uh, Public Order and Illegal Drugs chaired by Senator Ping Lakson. So I thought that that should be a preceded, you know, the holding, the formal holding of the Senate inquiry should be preceded by a uh, by privileged, a privileged speech. Privileged speech. So I've been I've been mulling over this. Although the initial focus, supposedly the only focus of the intended privileged speech, is supposed to be the spate of yeah. somebody killings. But I had to inject some matters of personal privilege because of the relentless, uh, vicious attacks being hurled against me, especially through the social media. Well, we'd, we'd like to ask questions also about that. Now, we we want to cluster the questions about the social media campaign against you. Social mm -hmm. media, online and offline, I, I yeah. would say. Uh, but can we scroll down the prompter, please? Um, I, I'd like to ask, uh, no, I think question number three. Um, from Jerome Toledo. This is related to 
uh, re- resolution number nine, you're conducting an inquiry soon. Is this political since you are part of LP and the legislative leaders are PDP Laban? Not at all. A matter, a matter as important as this, as serious as this, should transcend any political consideration. And it's the farthest from my mind doing things with political objective. I'm not that one. I'm not that kind of a. It's also my question, servant, public servant, ma'am. Mm-hmm. Um, why you're you're now obviously at the forefront of the uh, of the campaign against the summary killings resulting from the anti-drug campaign. Um, why are you doing this despite the backlash? You know, it's despite the. Right thing the to do. I could have stayed. You know, go with the tide. Also, keep mum. Yeah. About it. And especially in light of this uh, relentless, persistent, vicious attacks. You know, all sorts, all sorts of, 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 of dirt being thrown mm-hmm. at me, especially. And, 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 and you know, it's hard to say. Now, na ang tawag sa iyo, drug lord, cuddler, protector, mm-hmm. tumatanggap mm-hmm. sa mga convicts. And then, I, so, you know, just to, to put a stop to it, wala, hindi na sana ako gagalaw, hindi na sana ako magsasalita. But this is the right thing to do. It's so very, do it. It's very interesting, Mami, mentioned in your speech um, about the things that you've done with Belibid when you were still the Justice Secretary. I do remember that we had the Justice Reporter and she would sometimes text us in the middle of the night there would be a raid in Belibid. They would be confiscating a lot of things. Um, it's true. I think a lot of people forgot that, that it was during your term that you started those kinds of things. Sabi ko nga, binabaliktad na nila lahat. Mm-hmm. Bakit ganon? Eh, ako nga nagsimula niyan. And, uh, you know, kinasuhan pa nga ako ng mga yan. Until now, mm-hmm. my, those cases are still pending, including an anti-graft case before the Ombudsman filed by one of those Belibid 19. One or two of those Belibid 19 inmates. Anti-graft daw because I had no authority daw to transfer them from Belibid temporarily to the NBI detention facility. And, nandiyan yung death threats. Yeah. And in fact, right now, they, they, there's there's still the security threat mm-hmm. coming from them. I can only... Uh, and then ito ngayon ang napapalako. Bigla You're now in cahoots naging, with them. Bigla ako <laughs> naging protector nila. It's, it's so unfair. It's crazy. Ma'am, I, I want to respond to that. Uh, I have a question specifically about that. Why are they doing this? I don't know. Well, marami naman sigurong pwede Maybe they don't want this Senate inquiry to push through for some mm-hmm. reason. That's why. Well, is it possibly co- uh, connected to what you mentioned earlier, the death uh, penalty bill? I don't know. Hindi pa naman siguro. Baka ito lang nga. Because ang, ang, ang perspective kasi nila, ang mindset nila is that uh, kung iimbestigahan yan, then mawawala yung momentum ng law enforcers. Ngayon, you know, ano sila ngayon? Highly motivated sila ngayon mm-hmm. with the backing of the powers that be. Mm-hmm. You know, so, kung iimbestigahan daw, madademoralize, or mawa- you know, that, that would dampen their resolve. I actually disagree. Kasi kaya nga, gusto ko po na magkaroon ng inquiry na to para alamin natin yung buong situation. Alam na alamin natin ano ba ang may problema ba talaga? Bakit ganon? May mga namamatay na hindi nalalaman kung ano yung dahilan. Basta sasabihin na lang it's either ng laban ng agaw o yun mga lalo na yung mga cases of salvaging. Yeah. Na mga hindi alam kung mga sino-sino gumagawa niyan. Nasusunod ba yung mga dapat sundin sa batas, sa mga patakaran, sa mga operational guidelines. Ginagawa ba ng mga relevant authorities, particularly internal internal affairs unit? That was a good point raised actually by Senator Dick Gordon. He pointed to a particular law mm-hmm. which which actually mandates that whenever whenever somebody is killed, there is a casualty in a law enforcement operations, mm-hmm. automatic dapat 
na iniimbestigahan. Ganon mm-hmm. din kasi sa other jurisdictions mm-hmm. like the United States. So, tatanungin ho natin yan sa inquiry. Ginagawa ba yan ng Internal Affairs Unit? May kulang ba sa kapasidad nila, sa resources nila, sa mga tao nila mm-hmm. na gawin yung, yung uh, trabaho nila? So, kasama, kasama po, dapat yan lahat. Th- that's why they should welcome this inquiry. Gusto ko lang makatulong na above board ang mga yan, alam yung ginagawa ng mga law enforcers para hindi na taint yung buong uh, kampanya mm-hmm. against drugs. Y- yun po naman ang pinakapunto. So, bakit tayo magiging paranoid na, na kung ano na, ano, ano na yung mga iniisip? Ay, hindi naman po yun yung pakay pakai ko I'm trying to I'm trying hard to think of a uh, an analog a, a previous instance na a, the speaker of the house actually pinpointed mm-hmm. a senator of the republic and said we want to investigate her tapos uh, kasama pa yung justice secretary and now also the solicitor general that's why I to raise it personal and collective privilege mm-hmm. it is certainly in breach of interparliamentary courtesy. Mm-hmm. But as I said nga, hindi naman yun ang pinaka-defense ko. Gusto mm-hmm. ko it, sila mismo, mga kapwa ko, senador mismo, mm-hmm. ang mag-raise niya, not mm-hmm. in defense of Lila de Lima, mm-hmm. but in defense of the institution. The institution. Hindi naman, hindi dapat, dapat naman talaga nila yan. Ginagawa basta-basta na lang. Because we are co-equal institutions. Interparliamentary courtesy. And then look at that. Hindi lang naman si, hindi lang naman si speaker ang tumitira sa akin, ang mga, kung ano-ano mga insinuations, si so- Solicitor General, and mm-hmm. the latest is the Secretary of Justice. These are the President's men. Now, what am I supposed to think and say about that? Now, these are the President's men trying to discredit a sitting Senator. Senator, that's the question now. Um, mm-hmm. You were saying when you said a while ago that you don't know what they or them, what they're up to, uh, who are you referring to? Do you know who is behind this campaign nyo, to discredit you? Nyo, sinabi ko rin po yun, I'm actually giving them, the president's men, the benefit of the doubt. Yeah. I suspect na meron mga elemento dyan na sila ang nag-feed, nagsusupply ng mga kasinolingan na yan. Mm-hmm. Those fabricated lies, those manufactured lies. Yung mga tungkol dyan, yung mga, that's, nakadler ako, nakikipag-jamming ako sa mga, <laughs> sa mga drug lord. Drug lord, nakikipag-party ako sa kanila, tumatanggap daw ako sa kanila. This must be coming from, from whoever, you know, ano na, yung parang, mahirap naman kasi mag, 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 mag Point out. Kasi wala, So you're not yet sure on who it is? Not sure, but uh, have you considered the possibility that it came from like higher office, like Malacanang? I wouldn't say that at this point. I wouldn't say that. In fact, sana hindi nakakarating yung mga ganyan sa pangulo. Mm-hmm. O sana kung nakakarating po sa kanya, sana hindi siya naniniwala. Because mm-hmm. I, 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 you know, that these are I, I call them agents of vengeance. It could be any of those or some of those na natapakan ho natin, alam nyo na, ang dating mm-hmm. man natin mm-hmm. hinandal ng mga high-profile cases, mm-hmm. no, or it could be a confluence of all of this, nagka mm-hmm. ano-ano sila, there may not be a deliver- deliberate uh, what, uh, grouping together and out to get me, but it just happened na nagkaroon na sila ng commonality. Yeah. An opportunity, An perhaps. Opportunity. Yeah commonality of, of uh, objective to get me. Um, Senator, maybe just one more question about this drug lord, cuddler thing. No? Uh, we have a, a reader with a question. It might sound a little unfair, but maybe it, it, it will give you an opportunity to, to well, convince this guy. No? Uh, aside from the death threats that you've received, no? how can you convince us that you are not... Uh, sorry, prompter, please go up. <laughs> Um, uh, uh, number 11 how can you convince us that you are not the protector of the big scale drug lords 
sorry, I, but the, from Chochi Ki Kizo. May I just tell you, straight if you're if you're here, wh whoever mm -hmm. he is, mm -hmm. is he a male? I'm excited to tell you. Sa harap ko, I will, I will look at you straight in the eye, and I will tell you, that's a complete lie. Why should I be a cuddler of this? Nag, sinabi ko na po kanina. Ako nga po yung nag-grade sa kanila. Ako yung nagpahirap sa kanila. Ako yung nag-isolate sa kanila. I mean, kinasuhan nila ako. And then now, I'm a cuddler. And then, yun, lininis naman po ang, ang, ang bilibid. Hindi pa completely malinis. Pero there have been successive operations, galugad, under, uh, under the former director and the current director. Director Rainier Cruz. Y y po nagsimula na lahat niyan. And you said something in your privileged speech about mm -hmm. not finding something? Yeah. The Shabula, I had to say that kasi madalas mo natin naririnig. Ang iikot yan eh. <laughs> na, na, madalas mo natin naririnig yan, merong Shabulab. Eh, yun nga po ang unang pinahanap ko nung nag-grade kami kasi narinig ko na rin po yan mm -hmm. na meron di umano Shabulab mismo sa loob. So we had to look for it in that first major raid and in the successive raids until now, nakailan na hong raid under the Operation Galugad. Wala naman pong nahanap na siya bulab. Because, because, you know, it's unless every, each and every soul in that penitentiary are in cahoots with each other, hindi naman ho basta-basta matatago yung Shabulab na aamoy siyempre yan. So there is no such thing. Kasi, anong naging problema sa bilibid? Because these drug convicts were controlling the drug trade from within. Mm -hmm. they, did, they need not manufacture those drugs from within. Mm -hmm. they, if, if, they have, if they have to manufacture those drugs, it would be in volumes. You know, Ano nangyayari? May ilan-ilan na nakakapasok ng mga sachet-sachet, you know, dahil sa pakikipagkontsyaba sa mga mm -hmm. prison guards na madali naman kasi silang mga na, mm -hmm. nabibili, nababribe. You know, nakakapasok ilan-ilan for the personal use of, of drug inmates who are drug addicts, also are users within. Pero to say na nanggagaling ang droga sa loob at yun ang binibenta sa laba, minamanufacture pa, they, they don't need that kasi nga dati nang may mga drugs sa labas. Di ba yung sinasabi ng Pangulo mm -hmm. na these drugs come from somewhere else? From somewhere else. From another country. Mm -hmm. Kaya nga ini-insist niya, wala daw drug lord, wala daw big, I mean big time drug lord na hindi, hindi pa ako masyado nag-agree doon. <laughs> Depende ho siguro sa perspective. I sympathize with the former Justice Secretary and our colleague kung pinagbibintangan siya na wala namang facts. Hindi ko po alam. Pinakinggan ko lang yung sinabi niya. Kung gumagawa ng conclusion na mali, I sympathize with her. At kung attack to sa Senado, hindi dapat. Pero, nung sinabi niya, seven-year-old nagra-rugby, and then sasabihin niya, binarel nung polis, wala pa naman ako nababalitaan na polis na binarel ang seven-year-old na nagra-rugby. Di ba? Yung sasabihin, nine years old, etc., no? Hindi ko alam yung circumstance niya. At never sinabi ng ating Pangulo na kapag ka may summary killing or murder ay hindi paparusahan. In fact, ang sinabi niya, patay kayo sa aking mga polis kayo pag umabuso kayo. At sinabi po niya na palalakasin niya yung internal checks ng polis to make sure that not only do they not murder people, but that they're not involved in drugs. Because the reality is, ang PNP mismo ay nagamit din at ginagamit pa rin ng mga pushers. So, the, the, our colleague then jumped to conclusions by saying, ganito na karami ang patay sa police operations, pero alam naman natin ng mga police, I, I have to paraphrase because I didn't write down exactly, but sinasabi niya may rub out din. But isn't that jumping to conclusions? Meron po tayong presumption of regularity. Hindi ko sinasabi na lahat yan, regular. Pero may presumption. Sabi niya, meron daw dapat presumption of innocence. 
Eh, hindi ba presumed innocent ang polis? Pagka napatay niya yung pusher dahil lumaban, may barel, sabi nung iba, kaya kailangan proportional. Kopong-kopong pa ho yun. Yung sinasabing proportional, hindi na po yan ang standard sa Japan, sa France, sa Europe, sa UK. Ngayon po, nung araw po, pagka binaril ka, may, may yung pusher o yung kidnapper, may barel, nagbaril ka rin, o barilin mo muna to main. di ba Main. So, baril mo sa shoulders, baril mo sa hita para dumapa. Hindi na po ganun yun ngayon. Right now, pag bumunot ka laban sa law enforcers, they can shoot and they can shoot to kill. Bakit? Dahil sa panahon po ngayon ng terorismo, sa panahon po ngayon na sabog, at hindi na nasa tamang issue, na, nasa tamang pag-iisip ang mga pusher, hindi mo alam kung magpapasabog yun o kung yung M16 niya, bigla na lang babarilin lahat. So ngayon, bago po ang rule. Kailangan pa rin sabihin, mga polis kami, NBI kami, PDEA kami, ibaba ang gamit. Raid to, o kaya ito ay uh, by bus operation. Kailangan mo pa rin magpakilala. You have to give them an opportunity to surrender. Tama po tayo doon. At kung meron kayong mapakita na ganun ang ginawa na sumusurrender at hindi pinayagan sumurrender pero barel, i-charge natin ng murder yung mga polis. Pero kung wala at spekulasyon lang yon, eh kawawa naman po mga polis. We are making conclusions because it is an emotional issue. I do not know the facts about the death of the professor in Ateneo. I hope to God, I pray to God, and if I can do anything to catch the killer, count me in. I am also an Atenean. I heard that there is a, an element of robbery. Kung rob out yan, kung uh, extrajudicial killing yan, by all means. Pero the way it is being blended and weaved by the media and by some human rights group is as if ito'y utos ng Pangulo at ito'y gusto ng Pangulo. Ngayon na ang mga drug lords hindi na monopoly, hindi nagkakaisa, ngayon na sila nagpapatayan, sasabihin po natin na kasalanan to ng Presidente. You know, one peculiar statistic that I did not hear today is that there is a 13% drop in crime. So, if there are some critics who said, bakit naman umpisa pa lang hearing na sa extrajudicial killing because there are many people suffering. Bakit hindi muna tayo mag-hearing na itaas ang sweldo ng polis? Ba't hindi mo tayo mag-hearing kung paano protektahan mga piskal para hindi sila at the mercy of drug lords at may additional allowance sila at kung kailangan nila ng equipment like bulletproof vest, kailangan nila yung opisina nila mas secure, ba't hindi yun ang una natin hearing? Um, what, were, what is the threshold? Yeah. How many more killings are we willing we to need? bear? How many more killings do we need to see before we act? What is the threshold? Is it hundreds, thousands, 1,000, 5,000, 10,000, 100,000? Uh, we don't have to wait for that. As, 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 as uh, expressed by Senator Riza earlier, one dead body is just one too many, mm -hmm. particularly the, uh, the cases of the same environment, atmosphere, at the time that the D DTS phenomenon mm -hmm. was, was there. Mm -hmm. That's why CHR had to investigate. Mm -hmm. it, it's also possible that um, people might just be waiting for a provocation, you know, a spark like perhaps your speech. As I mentioned in, in my speech, there may not be a general outrage mm -hmm. yet, but we could also s already see some undercurrent, you know, uh, some, some sentiments already. Killings, particularly of the innocent ones. So I, I, I don't see uh, mm -hmm. that point. Although I do agree that we need also to focus on measures that will strengthen the criminal justice system. That, I do that, agree mm -hmm. that uh, it's because of the general frustration of the people that there seem to be, you know, apathy and a sort of a general acceptance mm -hmm. of what is happening. That's exactly. this inquiry 
That's why I was a little aghast by, by the statement of uh, Senator Alan Kanina when he was delivering his own mm -hmm. uh, privileged speech is that konti pa lang daw. You know, I, I have here some, some transcript of what, exactly what, what, what he said. Bakit po napakarami ng pinapatay ngayon? Actually po, hindi marami because mistaken identity. The cases of, of uh, you know, just being there at the wrong place at the wrong, mm -hmm. at the wrong time. There are more and more cases of that. And I was also a bit, a bit aghast also when, when the point about we should instead attend to other urgent matters, not this inquiry being proposed by Senator DeLima. Ah, uh, what could be more urgent than looking into this? 